Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land. I am the Mexican Trades. In the last part, we decimated every single world in this game. We've scavenged every single gold coin and collectible treasure that we were able to find along the way, and now we are at the peak of the mountaintop at Syrup Castle. We're gonna meet the head honcho of the pirate gang itself, beat him in submission, take all the monies, and go buy a splendid castle as a result. However, we actually have to make our way all the way up to said leader, and it's going to take a little bit longer to get there, plus there are in fact two more treasures in Syrup Castle uh, by itself that we need to collect. But bet you can you can wager dollars to donuts that we will in fact grab both of those. Because Wario is ready for action. I just did a whole bunch of money getting. I have an insane amount of money right now. And trust me, when you guys see the number, you're gonna be all like, well, that doesn't seem all that impressive. Trust me, it is. It's exactly this amount we need in order to achieve maximum success. Right, first and foremost, kill you with my butt. As the strong bat would say, the ample hind bosom. All right, ba -ba -ba -ba, there we go. Good, good, fantastic. All right, anything important in here is just another silly old... Now well, there's probably something in, in there, but it's nothing I care about because I know it's not the treasure. So I'll just move on with my collective lives. All right, watch for the spiky ball. It's going to try and ruin your day. Don't let it. You never let a spiky ball ruin your day. As I sit on that guy, and oh boy, I'm gonna get squished. Okay, I was, thought I was gonna get squished, but I managed to get out of the way in time. Assume the worst, and uh, no. Oh, there we are. I was waiting for another one. It's like, it took forever. What was that taking you so long? And all right, I guess we're gonna be rolling with the dragon hat. Fine by me. I enjoy the dragon hat. I burn my enemies to cinders. Okay. Got the hearts. Everything's going good. Everything was going good. <laughs> and then everything went terribly, terribly wrong. Oh, unfortunate. That's okay. Tiny Wario can still get the job done. You don't need to be a big man to solve big problems. That's, um, that is a thing you should learn. That's something you should know. That's a, le that's a lesson you could learn from a Disney movie. Anyway, this might look like there's nowhere to go. Oh, but there is. When Wario wants treasure, he will break every single law of physics and reality in order to acquire it. All right. Of course, I don't know how I'll be able to, like... Oh, that's a problem. I have no way of opening it. Huh. I did not pre- I did not plan for this contingency. Actually, no, wait, hang on. I think I might- Maybe I can... Huh. No. Okay. Usually... Alright, well, I can kill enemies with coins, but I can't open treasure chests with them? What a load of hooey! Hooey and patooey and all that other stuff. Alright, fine. Well, I guess we'll go and look for some manner of a power-up. Maybe there was one I missed. I don't know. The real question is, is it really worth going through all of this when I could just as easily just, you know, go through the level again? I don't know. That's up to you to decide. Let's see, come on, come on. Nope. Just a bunch of useless hearts and other miscellaneous and sundries. Okay. Please don't tell me I legitimately grabbed every single one of them because I'm a big stupid. Don't make me look to be so foolish. All right. I, mean, I was already foolish. I got hit by the giant spunk one. Yeah, there's legit there was legitimately nothing I can do. Fantastic. All right, fine. Have it your way, game. There, I managed to finally get the present. Fudgy the Whale! Truly the most lucrative and amazing of all of my various objects that I have found. I'm okay with all of this. I mean, hey, maybe it's, just, maybe it's just a whale. I don't know. Maybe it's a very tiny whale that lived in a treasure chest. Regardless of what his origins are, they are now mine. Also, remember what I was talking about when I said you don't have to be a big man to solve big problems? Well, that might be true, but being big certainly helps things out quite a bit. All right. Whoa, we've got th things, I guess. Okay, we've got lasers and, and moles with flails. Oh, my, that's a lot of... I was not anticipating that. I thought I had an entire level to go before I had to see this nonsense. But all right, we can ignore all minigames. And look at all that money I got. Look at all of it. That's a preposterously large amount of money, but just enough to get what we need. Once we sell all of these various trinkets we found, oh, the bank will be broken, let me assure you. And it will be glorious! But until then, we've got a bit more stuff to get through, including armless cats, as is, you know, the norm at this point. Go down here, hit the magical switch. Don't even know why a switch is here, but it makes all of the blocks move. 
Not sure why they designed a castle with that sort of thing. I mean, I guess it's a security system, but a really, really lazy and easy to get around. Actually, it's not even lazy. That takes a lot of time and effort. Like, you know, trigger traps and stuff like that, and it's just completely useless. How peculiar. That being said, kill your face! There we go. Fantastic! I'm just gonna pick you up like this, that, and this. I'm just gonna break everything, and I'm gonna do that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Is there something important in this place? I don't quite remember, but I remember this level and it being somewhat aggravating, but I don't entirely know why. I suppose we might find out soon enough. First, make sure to open up everything. Make sure I know what I'm doing here. Let's see, we got this guy. I ain't having this guy. You, you get out of here, that guy. Whoa, and we got another one of these guys. All right, fine, well, I'm gonna throw you at you, and now you're both dead. Yeah, okay, see, that's what happens. You don't mess with Wario, man, He'll, he will mess you up. All right, so we've got laser sp spewing things. We've got birds. Yep, probably should expect that sort of thing. Whoa, boy, all right. An important thing to remember is that you can walk on top of chain link uh, fence things. I'm not, it's a chain link rope. I don't really know. Either way, you can stand on top of it and get leverage. That's an important thing to remember. Let's see. Is there truly, well and truly, two ways to go? Huh. I don't feel like this is actually the place where our treasure is, but it very well could be. Huh. No, no, it's definitely not. Yeah, this is just a yeah, this is just a checkpoint. Yeah, this level is absolutely not the place with the treasure. That's the place with the with the bouncy blocks. You, you know, you'll see it when we get there, but it, yeah. Also shackles on the wall, that's pretty messed up. Alright. Wario give no downs, just kill everything, get out of the way. Got more important things to do. I got to beat up the the main macho man guy that's uh, in charge of all this. Dun, 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 Come on, Wario, run! Use those weird little legs! Da -da 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 -da. And alright, that'll... Uh, that's pretty good. There's, we didn't get all of them, but we got a good chunk. We got a good chunk. We got at least an extra life out of that. That's always good. Don't need that item on my hands, but we do have this guy. And yeah, take that! Haha! -ha! I casually toss you asunder! That's how, that's how much better Wario is than you. And you're just gonna have to learn to accept it! Ta -ba. Okay, ba -ba -ba. fantastic. All right, kind of easy to screw that one up, at least if you're me, and you're not me, I'm me. And if you claim to be me, well, then we're gonna have quite the kerfuffle, because I'm rather fond of my existence. Most people would probably find it weird or pathetic or kind of stupid, but it's my life and it's my life to live and you can't have it, so meh. All right, first and foremost, no, get out of here. Okay, now we gotta deal with this nonsense. We just gotta duck and skittle scattle our way through and hit the giant honking switch. This giant honking switch then apparently was designed to blow up a large portion of the island, which I do not quite understand the the purpose of. But there you go, I suppose. It's like a self-destruct mechanism. I don't entirely see the point, especially on a fortress. Like really. Do you have such low confidence in your super villainry ways that you genuinely think, well, there's definitely gonna be a situation where I need to blow up my entire home. That's totally a reasonable, you know, justification. You know, that's dumb. That is hardcore stupid. All right, getting ever so closer. The second to last level, course number 39. This, I believe, is where we will find the final treasure. And that is merely an assumption. All right. It looks to be the correct place, and suddenly I just got really, really dizzy. Whoa, whoa, okay. Sorry about that, I got real lightheaded all of a sudden. Ugh. All right, take care of that. Oh, I caught him! Ha! Ah! Uh, no wonder Wario's always going after all them sports trophies. He is a regular uh, pro bala, or whatever it is people are called when they're good at the sported games. All right, that's a lot of moolahs, but I am not in the business of moolahs today. Oh, no! I've got more than enough moolahs. Uh, okay, well, if you're gonna be a big old jerk about it, ugh, a jerky jerk in the f jerk attack squadron. Ugh, most lame. All right, well, I suppose the good news is I don't have to duck when I'm getting around this place. Of course, this guy's gonna be a big old pain in the butt about it, yeesh. Okay, fine. Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. I say nay, good sir. All right, now you may proceed and I shall, yes, okay, good. See, neither of us had to die. The conflict could have been resolved very peacefully. Wario is not above diplomatic uh, stuff. 
you know, stuff. Diplomatic reasoning and whatnot. Okay, here's all. Whoa! All right, well, that's gonna be a problem. Not too horrible of a problem, seeing as I was pretty sure that I wouldn't be able to do this anyway, but still a problem regardless. I need to get down there, and to do that, I need to ground pound. And I am currently incapable of doing such an act, which is problematic to say the least. I need at least one more treasure. I need that treasure. You can't keep it away from me. Please, oh please. I hope upon hopes that you'll give me a concerned and friggin' whatchamacallit, a, 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 a power up. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna kill myself and start over. It's faster that way. There we go. I have arrived at the designated location with the proper power up, and I shall bounce like a crazy person. Hooah! Okay, I missed. There we go. Hooah! There we go. It's up here that we want to get. And it is here where we will find our final treasure that we have been so looking for for oh so very long. If I'm not gonna get stuck in the freaking stone pillars. Seriously, Wario, why would you even try to stand up at that? Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this place now. I get it, I get it. A little bit frustrating, but I should be able to get it. We got this big old honking wall, and then we need to get rid of it if we want any hope of getting our treasure. And... Uh, that can prove to be a tad bit problematic, as this is the only way Wario can actually freaking do this. There we go. All right, all right. That's progress. Progress. We just need to... Oh, wait, no. I don't even need to do that. Just do that, and that, and this, and then... Oh, eh. All right. Almost got it. Almost got it. Just a little bit more, and we got it. Come on, Wario. Use your aerodynamic ways. Oh. For some reason, you're really good at aerial fighting in Smash Brothers. Why can't you just do one of your little flippy kicks? Or spin your body in a weird corkscrew-like fashion? Ugh. Come on. This is looking rather silly. Let's see. Can I possibly throw a dude at this? Make it a little bit easier on myself? Is that a possibility? Because that would just be the swellest. If I could physically pick him up first, that would just be handy. Okay. All right, can throwing this guy accomplish things? No, it cannot. You are useless to me. Get out of my face. Okay, fine. Back to the hoping for the best solution. Woo! Oh, oh okay. Well, actually, it worked out pretty well. All right, fine. Now we just need that key. All right, kill you for being useless. You wasted my time. My precious, precious time. Don't you realize I only have 232 more seconds in order to accomplish everything? Or I die because of reasons? Because timers were a thing in video games for a while, and I never understood why, but they're gone now, and I couldn't be more happy about that, unless it's a timed mission, in which case, lame! Either way, got a big ol' honkin' ring with a big ol' honkin' some sort of rock on it. I'm sure it's a valuable kind. Let's just assume it's a diamond of some sort. And shazam! Every single treasure in the game acquired. Ain't that just the bee's knees. Alright, now we have to go all the way back and finish the level without running out of time. Theoretically, I should be able to do that without much trouble, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I suppose worst case scenario, I do run out of time, and that's all right, because I don't need to waste time getting the treasure, because you only have to find it once. So, at least the game is that sort of, of, of kind and courteous to you. Very, very nice of it in retrospect. It could just take the treasure away. It's like, nope, gotta go get it again. Gotta do it all in one big fell swoop. You screw up, well, that's your own dang problem. All right. Now, instead of jumping into the lava pit like a doof, how about we actually do this the proper way? Assuming I can! Woo, boy, all right. Here we go, just get up here. All right, I forgot. The only, they only respawn after that they've scrolled off screen. A little bit annoying, but we will make do. Yes, 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 we will. All right, here we go, and... There, take that, physics! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Let's see, we're getting super duper close to the very tip of the top of this evil tower. That's uh, actually a lot like Skeletor's castle now, I think about it. Hit another switch and destroy even more of it. That's right. The leader of this band of bandits was not content with merely rigging one set of explosives to their home. No, it had to be two. Two sets of explosives in order to actually get further up. That makes no sense. Ah, well, luckily I didn't run out of time, so everything works out just fine. And now, at long last, it is time for the final level! Will Wario finally get his dope-ass home? Let's find out! Okay, got this, that's good, that's good. Whoa, we've got lots of bouncy-bouncies. That's always cool. 
but gotta be careful. Don't want to get overzealous. Don't want to get cocky. Then we'll fall down, go boom, and everyone's day will be ruined. Well, I guess just Wario's. Everyone else associated in this adventure would probably get off pretty well. I mean, well, yay, that guy who's trying to rob us is, is he's gone. Good day. But, you know, it wouldn't be good for Wario, and Wario's the only person whose opinion matters at the moment, so... Neener, neener, new, new, I suppose. Okay, just gotta keep on trucking. Gotta keep on truck. And I got overzealous and cocky. Immediately after I said I wouldn't do that, I done did it. <sighs> Unfortunate. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. No skipping, no fast motion, none of that nonsense. We're on the final ding-dang level. We gotta take care of this. Plus, I'm going to have to really concentrate and really focus if I'm gonna be able to beat the final boss in one go. He has a pretty simple... Oh boy. He has a pretty simple fight, uh, fight pattern. But initially, if you're caught off guard you can, and you're not entirely sure what you're supposed to be doing, it can get pretty hairy pretty fast. However, knowing, knowing exactly what you need to do ahead of time and being very, very patient, and yes, I know how difficult that sounds, if you're patient enough, you can get through it with almost no problem whatsoever. Almost. And remember, there's a lot of stipulations. You gotta get all this stuff figured out. So we'll see if I'm able to put everything together and save the day, the Wario way, which involves getting money, of course. It's like, I ain't doing this nonsense for free. Look at all the Munas! That's a lot of stinking money. All right. Just casually progress. Hit this thing, see if it's anything important. Nope, just another thing of Maru. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I remember this place. You actually have to... Yeah, there's like a guy up here. There's like a, an actual legitimate guard at, like protecting this place. It's pretty crazy. All right, whoop, he's getting all cranky on me. No, 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 we can't have none of that. Whoa! Oh, he is he is supercharged crankied. All right, well, he is, he is cranky Kong cranky up in here. All right, fine. That's fine, that's fine. I can take it. I can dig it. All right, just take care of business and for Zambo! Turns out he was just some sort of duck. All right, and now that he is out of the way, we may finally progress. Also, there was another power up in here. Sweet, it's almost as if nothing bad ever happened. Okay, now we've got to climb the infernal chain thing of awfulness. Okay, let's see, if I wait patiently, get up here, then jump, don't get hit by that, go fast. Okay, not what I wanted, doesn't matter. We can salvage this, we can salvage this, it doesn't matter. The tiniest of Wario's is still the strongest of Wario's. Because Wario is the strong. He is, that's his, that's his thing, it's what he does. Alright, that takes care of you. And, uh, okay, well, that takes care of you in a significantly brutal manner that I didn't entirely intend, but I'll gladly take it. Okay, good, good, good. There you are, Captain Syrup! Of course, Captain Syrup, being a no-good nefarious fiend, does not do fighting on her own, oh no! She has to use the power of a magic genie that she for some reason has that without any explanation. Now we gotta fight this freaking genie! However, she is stupid and left the lamp here. Now what you gotta do is toss it around until it lands front side up. Watch for the fireballs. That's the primary mode of attack. If you if you carefully and casually dodge those, you'll be a-okay. You just gotta throw it around until it makes a cloud. And then, once the cloud is created, you get hit by the genie's fireballs and look like a total fool. And then the cloud turns into a miniature version of himself who will totally ruin your day. Luckily, you don't. He's, he's really easy to kill. You just gotta ca casually and calmly just knock him around a little bit. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal. We can do this. There we go. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Now we, we bounce. Okay, good, good, good. That's progress. Progress in the making. All right. Okay, we can still do this as Tiny Wario. We don't have to worry. We just need to be calm and patient, like I said. That's all it takes. Okay, let's let's just try and be a little more reserved. We can do this. We can take care of Captain Syrup and our no-good genie friend. There we go, there we go, there we go. And I jumped right into his fireball fist. Yeah, okay. It's okay, it's okay. I knew going in that I probably wouldn't do it on the first try. Let's just try again. All right, tons of fun. It's time for round two, and Wario means serious business this time. He's not gonna casually jump right into your fist like he did before. Oh no, he's learned, he's adapted. And I'm going to shut up before I jinx myself, because we all know I will. All right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And okay, too late, too late. That's fine, that's fine. Just take out the mini-me. 
We got this. We have this. We got this on a big old silver platter. Just gotta be careful of his little finger snap fireball thingies. That's okay, that's a natural thing. I mean, all things considered, the fact that I'm fighting a genie, this isn't all that bad. I mean, he could be using his hair as a whip right now, but he's not. He's not. He's just using fireballs, which is also previously established genie magic, now that I think about it. Confusing. Regardless, he's not turning into an elephant or a monkey or any of that stuff. Not nearly as good looking as most genies that I know, but, you know, you know that's, just, that's just me. I, who am I? To judge, and that's karmic retribution, call a guy fat, and every moment he gets all vindictive on you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh, dearie, dearie me. Okay, okay, that was a little too hairy for Sir, the good Sir Wario. Right. Uh, mighty Justice! Is it good enough? No, he is still kicking, and he is still very very upset about all those things that I've said about him. Oh boy. I'm just saying, man. I've seen attractive genies and you are not one of them. You know what? You're being a big old bully about it. You know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna apologize. I'm totally down for insulting you. You're, you're quite the jerk. Hell, once we beat you, it's even made even more obvious how big of a jerk you are. Boy, I sure wish I could have made use of that. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Just take care of him before he becomes a problem. Okay, come on, Wario. Ugh, friggin' luck of the draw with this friggin' magic lamp, man. Come on. Oh boy, okay. Trial and error sometimes with this thing, alright. Okay, come on, come on. Why does it only puff out a little bit of smoke when it's on a certain angle? That don't make no sense. Oh boy, that's okay, that's okay. Like I said, his fireballs aren't hard to dodge, it's just you get frustrated with them sometimes, and then, and then everything bad happens. Oh, not good enough. Oh. Oh. Take care of that. Okay. Oh boy. All right. It's okay, guys. I'm not gonna fail you this time. Not this time. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, Captain Syrup, you fiend. And, uh, apparently, Wario assimilates her. Oh wait, no. Now she's just really cranky. Yeah. Well, what you gonna do? Are you gonna run away? Oh, you're gonna blow up everything. Yeah, that's a sensible reaction to what just happened here. Destroy everything everywhere. Luckily, Wario gets out unscathed. Also, apparently there was a gigantic solid gold statue of Princess Peach in there? Not sure what that's all about. Either way, the moment of happiness is short-lived, as for whatever reason, Mario just kind of shows up in a helicopter and decides, Hey, you know what, Wario? You took my house? I'm gonna take this giant golden statue of my girlfriend. Uh, later, bro. I can only assume Mario followed Wario around in that helicopter for a very long time, waiting for the perfect moment of revenge. A bit rude, but, uh, I suppose now they can at least call them, you know, they're even Steven with each other. No grudges left to be had. Luckily, Wario still has access to the magical lamp! And he has a genie who's now under his command! And this is where we get that double-sided, like, what? This, like, this is like the worst genie ever. Like, just check this out, check this out. Hey, thanks man for saving me. Can I, uh, can I grant you a wish or something? Like, hmm, well, let me think about this. What do I want? Well, could you give me a castle? That would be the swellest. Oh yeah, sure, no thing, bro. I'll, I'll make you a castle, but you have to give me a lot of money first. Because, you know, that's how genies work. They, apparently, they're now they're taking money compensation for their works. I mean, I guess I understand, but did not realize that is how the genies worked. Either way, now is where all of our treasure's money gets tallied up, and how much uh, money we give the genie is how amazing of a house Wario gets. If you get the least amount of money possible, you only get a birdhouse. And then you can get, like, a log cabin, and there's a pagoda, and then there's a castle, and the castle is obviously what Wario wants. However... If you get every single treasure in the game and max out Wario's treasure wallet to, you know, full all through the way nines, then you get something even better than a castle, which is pretty freaking sweet. I won't spoil it right here, right now. We'll wait for it patiently. It's, as you can clearly tell, it's gonna be a little while. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to sort of casually keep the conversation going then, because I can't really give my thoughts on anything, because it's not the credits, we're just kind of 
sitting here waiting for Wario to count up all of his money. Um, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I woke up kind of early today, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still feeling all right. Uh, haven't really eaten much. Once I'm done here, I'll, I'll probably go and get dinner. Um, probably pizza rolls. I like those. I, I feel like that would probably fill my stomach up pretty good. Um, after that, well, it's 1.15 a.m. I guess I'll just go about my normal schedule, like once everything is fully rendered and the and everything's good, I guess I will get into bed and watch YouTube videos until I pass out. That's usually how I go about things. I have a I have a pretty tough time falling asleep. Um, I find watching videos helps me distract myself because I have a lot of uh, dark and, and uh, personal thoughts that keep me awake at night and keep me scared. But if I'm watching a, you know, a funny YouTube video or a soothing one, then I usually get by pretty good. Uh, lately, I've been uh, watching Wow Crendor play uh, uh, Warcraft 3, it's been really fun, I I'm enjoying that, and he has a soothing voice that helps me sleep, so, well, you know, it's a win-win for everyone involved. Uh, yeah, I suppose you could, you could check that out yourself if that's something you're interested in. And, uh, looks to me like we're finally done here. Do I max out the wall at least? Yes, I totally did! Okay! Awesome! All of the money! And now the money drains out of the account, and is put into giant oversized baggies. Like so, which I'd like to just throw out here. Wario is carrying around with just one arm. Wario, Wario is a powerhouse. I don't know what the upward limits of this dude's strength are, but it's clearly something super special. Like this guy, he is a little, he is what the kids today would call strong, with a K. You could, you could definitely say he lifts. I've seen him lift. I've played, I've played Mario Tennis, the whole cutscene where it shows him lifting that giant thing. You know. Didn't seem like he was having too much trouble with it either, so uh, there you go. And I guess we're back to just sort of sitting around waiting for the money to count. Almost done. Everything's good. And there we go. And an extra bag for collecting all the treasures. There we go. So the super secret sound has gone off. Here, have six gigantic friggin' bags of money, you ch weirdo genie man. Man, Shantae wouldn't have been asking for so much moolahs. But regardless, as I said before, it is something significantly more awesome than a flippin' castle. Oh no, Wario gets something that Mario wouldn't get for at least another two decades, a little bit more. Prepare yourself. And welcome to Wario Galaxy! Ha <laughs> ha! And now Wario just kinda hangs out on the moon for the rest of his life. I don't know! <laughs> uh, air, food, any of that nonsense. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need a tangible air part of land to stand on. How he even got into space? That's open to debate. <laughs> and that, ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, was Wario Land on the Game Boy. Oh boy, it's been a long time coming. I've been, I, 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 I remember quite a while ago, I actually uh, put this game up against a few others and I let you guys vote on what you wanted to see and you wanted to see Wario Land and it took me quite a while to get around to it and I deeply apologize for that. Hopefully it was worth the wait. I, I can't say I know. Uh, it's completely subjective to the person who's watching, I suppose. If you enjoyed it, then I guess it was. But if you hated it, well, then I probably just slapped you square in the face and if so, I deeply apologize. It was highly unintended. All I can do is play games to the best of my ability and try and make you guys laugh and smile. That's just what I do. Either way, Wario definitely seems happy with how this whole thing has turned out. And I'm really happy. I didn't think I was going to get the super crazy perfect ending. But I somehow managed to pull through. Pretty dang sweet if I do say so myself. Now, of course, this is far, far, far from the last we'll ever see of Wario. There are plenty more Wario Land games to play, WarioWare games I want to play, and even just the spin-off games he shows up in. I'm probably gonna play some more Mario Karts and Smash Brothers and stuff. We'll see. We'll be seeing Wario for plenty more years to come. And of course, you know, there's always gonna be more Wario games across the horizon. So, from me and for Wario, who's incapable of speech in this particular medium, I hope you guys had a fantastic time, and I'll see you all next time for a brand new Let's Play! 
See you then! If you ever wonder if I stick around and watch the credits all the way through, the answer is yes. 